And it doesn't matter if you own a multi-million dollar company, don't stop hauling dead deer yourself. It is one of those staple things, you know? Nobody likes to do it. Nobody wants to go do it, but it's good, easy money. It's good, easy, fast money. So um, I end up having to go do a lot of them because nobody wants to do it. But then nobody knows the secret that I do. Dead deer are easy. They don't run away. This is my dead deer sled. You roll up, you find dead deer on the side of the road, take this out, you throw them in it, and it's super easy to put them right into your truck. So we have two contracts with the city and with the county, but this particular deer came from a private individual and uh, deer got hit in the road probably, ended up crawling onto their property and now they have to deal with it. There are no government entities that deal with dead deer. We do it all. Give me your pork rind filled animal story. I could just pull up animal stories for, for days, but it's the people, the people that really stand out the most. We get called out for a lot of different things and bats are a big thing. One, Hollywood has done a great job of vilifying bats. And so people have this deep seated psychological fear and creepiness of bats. We went out to this lady's house that told us about this bat that has been following her around for seven years. Every single time she moves, this bat somehow gets into her boxes and moves with her. This bat has one mutated wing and it's got one wing that flaps. And so it can only fly short distances. She was telling us about how this bat shoots lasers out of its eyes. She can show me all the laser damage everywhere in the, in the house where the bat has tried to shoot its laser eyes at her and it's burned these small little burn marks from the lasers. And yes, there are small burn marks everywhere, but it's very, very easy to see that's where cigarettes were left and the cigarette just burnt down to the filter and it leaves a small little burnt track like this. So it definitely the bat was all in her head and she had these hallucinations, but not until we went out there multiple times searching for this bat, frequent calls in the middle of the night, this bat's after her again, of course, we never can find a bat because it's just a hallucination. After about a year of this, I was like, we have to contrive some resolution for this lady. Anyway, she had a 14 year old grandson. He's the only one that believed her. And mostly it was just he placated her. And we had the mother take her out on a really nice evening out. And we told her that her 14 year old grandson was gonna stay here and help, help us capture this bat. We went through this real elaborate backstory and this, this resolution that we were gonna bring her to capture this bat. And we were able to convince her that after seven years, we finally captured this bat and we have not had a single phone call. She has not had a single episode since then. It took a very well-crafted uh, story to make her believe that we did capture this bat and it was no longer in her life. You know, we always listen to the customers. That doesn't mean we necessarily believe them. We like to do an inspection and form our own opinions and find the evidence for what we think is going to happen because what a person perceives is not always reality. We're gonna, I'm, I'm tired of waiting around. Yeah, and then I'll call the customer directly and we'll get payment. Yep, okay, sounds great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What do I do with those gloves? Have I lost my mind? Is this what's happened? Could be the day. Today could be the day. Somewhere I had a whole box of gloves because I don't really like touch, touching disgusting dead deer for two days because see people can never call us the day the deer dies you know 
they've got to wait until it's maggot infested. Because it kind of goes like this. I wonder if that, dead is, that deer is dead out there. Hmm. Next day. You know, I think that deer might be dead out there. Next day. Hey, let's go see if that, dead, that deer is dead. Maybe it's just been laying in the same spot for three days. Sure enough, they get close to it and they smell it. Yeah, it's dead. It's been dead. Couldn't you call me three days ago when it wasn't so nasty? Hey, this shirt is never more appropriate than right now. I promise you, I will catch this deer. <laughs> it's dead. You should, some, you should get some micro on this one. I don't know if YouTube allows it. <laughs> sure they will. I mean, it's just biological. If you get really close in on it, they won't be able to tell exactly what it is. So here's the other interesting thing about this, is if we look at this deer, we can see that the leg is broken right here. And it's caved in right here. So it was probably hit from this back corner right here and it drug itself. It was half alive, half dead, whichever you want to, you want to look at. But definitely judging from the way this leg is broke, it was hit by a car. I'm glad I brought my gloves. You ready? This thing's probably going to fall apart in my hands. Nailed it. Oh, look, a death beetle. Because you only find them on dead things. Just remember, if you work hard, kids. Hey, work hard, play hard. You'll make a lot of money. If you play hard and you don't work hard, you're going to be broke. And it doesn't matter if you own a multi-million dollar company. Don't stop hauling dead deer yourself. Fits right up in there perfectly. Somebody told me I could drag it up to the street and call it down here. I said, I'm not touching it. You wouldn't be able to drag this one. It's been dead for over a week. Has it? Oh, yeah. I only saw it yesterday. It's like, it's barely there. It's like pretty nasty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Give me a park and I'll get you guys paid. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was waiting for her to call me back. She never called me back. Well, she didn't put your number in uh, my system. She, she got off at three. And so I've been trying to reach her. I was like, hey, all the information is not in the system. And so anyway. She was going to call me back after she got a hold of, of you. I see. <laughs> One thing to remember about Wildlife Command Center, that even the CEO of the company will come out and pick up a dead deer for you. So give us a call, 314-399-8272. If you've got a dead animal, we'll help you take care of it. Okay. Glad to be over here. It's pretty ripe. <laughs> 